Harvest View Alliance Church is a valley-wide family on mission who exists to plant, grow, and harvest the kingdom of God in every life, home, and community. Harvest View Alliance Church is a valley-wide family on mission. We exist to plant, grow, and harvest the kingdom of God in every life, home, and community. Harvest View Alliance Church is a valley-wide family on mission who exists to plant, grow, and harvest the kingdom of God in every life, home, and community. 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 As Harvest View Alliance Church, we are a valley-wide family. That means that we're going to be coming from all over the place, whether it's the Redlands, Orchard Mesa, Grand Junction, Fruta, it doesn't matter. We can all come together, but our goal is to focus our time, energy, and resources uh, to the Fruitvale Clifton to glorify God and to build His kingdom there. The borders of 29 Road West and 33 Road East to the River South and to the I-70 North, that pocket is where we're going to want to put our, plant our flag, uh, have a rally cry for the gospel to transform that community. To focus in on this area and to invest in the people there and to really see their hearts and their lives and their community changed by the gospel as we compassionately engage with them and invest in their lives. about gospel transformation. We desire to allow the gospel to transform our lives and our hearts and our minds, and we desire to share in the joy of seeing others' lives transformed by the gospel. The gospel brings life and it brings transformation, and we are so passionate to see people's lives changed, homes changed, even communities changed by the gospel and transformed by the, by the living word of Jesus Christ. We desire to engage our neighbors, coworkers, and all people in our spheres of influence with compassion and love. Harvest View doesn't want to be just about going out and reaching the most people, but doing so in a callous way. We want to engage with people where they're at, meet them with what they're going through in an honest and compassionate way. Authentic relationships. We desire to have authentic relationships with God, with fellow Christians in the body of Christ, and with the lost world around us. And those authentic relationships really help us experience a loving fellowship with others and with God, and really help us engage with the world around us, so that we're not just out there trying to live our lives, but really engage with people in a real way where we're involved and invested in them. Kingdom multiplication. We absolutely desire kingdom multiplication. And in that, we desire to grow as disciple-making disciples who are intentional to multiply and mobilize other disciple-making disciples for the kingdom of Jesus, both locally and globally. Absolutely. Jesus was the master discipler. And he, he multiplied himself into 12 dudes who multiplied themselves into the 70 who multiplied themselves into us here 2,000 years later. And we just desire to see that kingdom multiply uh, through what we do, whether it's a life on life thing or a group on group or even church, planning another church, uh, we believe in kingdom multiplication. Harvest View Alliance Church, we are a valley wide family on mission who exists to plant, grow, and harvest the kingdom of God in every life, home, and community. that video together for us to hear kind of what God's been leading us to do. Uh, and if we want to put that next slide up, Hannah, I just want to say, River of Life, you guys are officially giving birth. Okay? You guys are planting this church 
out of the, the, the foundational place that Jesus has brought us as River of Life family to 30 years ago. You know this was a church plant 30 years ago. Um, and God has built you guys to a place where now you are giving birth uh, to this uh, Harvest View uh, church family. Uh, we are going to be, you know, a mother-daughter church, or we're going to be both in the alliance. So we're just excited to continue to partner with you guys. As you guys launch us out, we're just excited to see what Jesus is going to do uh, in that area out in Fruitvale, Clifton. Uh, you heard the borders, 29 Road, 33 Road, I-70, and the river. Now, we're going to be reaching people anywhere where we're at, but our rally cry is to get after the people, the brokenness, the broken homes, the broken schools, the broken community uh, in that pocket in our valley. And we, 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 we seek to see that, that, that part of the valley transform to where people want to move there, want to go to school there, want to be there. Um, and so that's our vision, and uh, we just, we're just excited to, to share that with you guys this morning. Um, and anyways, I just wanted to praise you guys as River of Life, uh, and I, I'm saying you guys, it's, it's me still too, like us as River of Life, as we've journeyed the last two years, really getting serious about church planning and going, okay, when the, ru when the rubber meets the road, when I was faced with this, Matt, do you want to be the church planner, this job is offered to you, it was like a moment where, okay, my faith is becoming real right now. It's a, not that it wasn't real, but I, I'm really getting out here, and I believe that the gospel is good news, and I believe that lost people need to know Jesus, and there's lost people in the valley 20 minutes that way. And so it, it's been cool for me, a personal journey of, of saying yes to Jesus, and, and I know us as a church, it's been an interesting you know, a journey as well as we have said yes to Jesus. I'm going to let these guys continue chatting through some things, but before they do, uh, next slide. Hannah, timeline, okay? Things are starting to happen. Things are starting to pop. You've probably caught on to this. We're not letting the whole COVID thing stop what God's doing. God knew the COVID thing was happening. God knew when we planned on this church plant a year ago and started laying these dates down, he knew what was going to be happening. So this does not take him off guard, but we are continuing to move with this timeline. So big, big red letters here. Harvest View Alliance Church launch team info meeting August 16th. Okay, that's next Sunday uh, at 6.30 right here in this room. Whether you have expressed to us in whatever way a desire to join the launch team, uh, so whether we know that you're wanting to possibly join this or not, uh, even if this morning God's, God's putting a call on your heart, man, maybe I do want to be involved in this launch team you need to come to next Sunday night at 6.30. Uh, we are going to go over some details of what it means to be a part of this launch team, uh, what it means to commit to this launch team, and, and what that's going to all look like. And so if at all possible, this is a required meeting for any of you, whether you've told us, hey, we're definitely coming, you need to be at this meeting, uh, August 16th, next Sunday, 6.30, right here. And then from there... Um, you know, you can read the slide there, and this slide will be out and about, but there's the timeline for you. And at the end of August, we're asking for people yes or no. Jesus said, let your yes be yes and your no be no. So whether you're going to stay and be a part of the church plant and stay at River of Life and be praying for us, or whether you're going to be going, we need to know who's going to be part of this launch team, a, a yes or a no by August 30th for sure. Uh, and then you guys, us as River of Life, are going to be commissioning this launch team come September 20th. And we're going to be launching into this time where we're going to be getting into small group discipleships, doing outreaches, reaching lost people for Jesus. Uh, and our long-term plan is come January to start an actual Sunday morning public uh, ministry service. So that's kind of the plan. I, there's a lot of details, and you'll get, you'll get more of that on August 16th, Sunday night, 630. Thank you, Matt. All right, next slide there, Hannah. All right, our purpose. Uh, just to remind everyone, I think that we've talked about this a lot, but our purpose in this is to join God in his mission to reconcile God and man. Um, and part of God's design to achieve that mission is to create disciples who make disciples and churches who make churches. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to follow faithfully and, and join him in that mission to be a church who makes churches. Um, you know, that's our purpose. We want to see the gospel furthered here in the Grand Valley. And this is one way we're going to do it. Let's hit the next one. Okay. 
Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about details. Uh, it is our desire to be as transparent as we possibly can with you. During the annual meeting, uh, there will be even further details, so come to the annual meeting if you still have um, further questions. So I'm going to go over a summary. So Matt here, uh, our beloved pastor, uh, this is a little bit of his transition. So starting September, well, for now to September, 50% of his time is going to be working for Harvest View. 50% of his time is going to be working for River of Life. And you can pray for Matt and Lauren because we know that any part-time job is really a full-time job. Yeah. And, and Matt has two part-time jobs, so he has two full-time jobs. Um, and it is our desire to really, we've, we've talked about nailing down some specific um, duties and tasks of Matt's and releasing them on certain points so that we really can get him down to 25% River of Life uh, come October, December, and 75% working for Harvest View. Um, <clears throat> and then January, he will fully be uh, a Harvest View employee and no longer a River of Life employee. Uh, we desire to send well. We want to be a church that sends well. Um, this is a little bit uh, of that. And not that I can say that I've experienced this, but... Um, like any parent who sends a daughter or a son off to college or sends a daughter or a son off to be married, uh, it is exciting and it is good. But at the same time, I just have to acknowledge that there is loss. And it's okay. There's going to be a little bit of grieving. Um, it is both excitement and some grieving. Um, and, I, you know, Matt, I just have to tell you, we love you and we will miss you. And you have been a fabulous, it's been so exciting to see you grow into a great shepherd. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I, and I just need to give everyone permission here to be both excited and grieve. Um, it, it means that we're going to have less quality time and fellowship with some of our love, beloved friends. Um, but that's okay. Um, because we're unified in the, mission, in the mission and we're unified in what good is happening um, okay like giving away our daughter's son to college or marriage it costs money <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about money um, here's our financial well a little bit about the financial plan uh, we the mid-america district so river or the alliance district has already committed you can see that number just over eighty nine thousand dollars to the harvest view church over a period of two years. Uh, super grateful for that. We are a part of a wonderful denomination, uh, the Christian Missionary Alliance. And church planting is part of their design. And boy, they have been with us a lot. And they will continue to be with us and support us a lot. So we're super grateful for that. Um, River of Life's financial portion is TBD, but we have been talking a lot about it. And I'll give you a brief summary. Uh, really what we're looking at doing is starting in January, um, go doing a five quarters tapering off of Matt's salary. Um, so 100%, uh, reduce it 25%, reduce it 50%, reduce it 75%, 100% harvest view over five quarters into 2021. Um, and transitioning them uh, well in that way. We will have a specific financial number for what that is by the uh, annual meeting. I believe the governing board is meeting this week to finalize that number, so pray for your governing board members uh, and that decision. And to be honest with you, I need to just sit here and say thank you. Um, we're church planning because we have faithful followers. Uh, Thank you to all of you who continue to give and continue to just be devoted to God's mission here um, as part of the Alliance, as part of what River of Life does. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I think that's the next slide. So this is not a rhetorical question. So all of you online, put your other stuff down. I want you to answer this question. What time is the meeting next week? 
Yeah, <laughs> nice job. 6.30, okay. Say that one more time. What time is the meeting next week? Say it loud. Yes, good job. All right. <coughs> and what is the meeting about? Right. You're, you're going to find out all the inf- this, that, Sorry, that was rhetorical. You're going to find out all the information about uh, <coughs> what this covenant commitment looks like for the next year and a half to two years. This, that's a lot. So those of us who are not going with Matt, we need to be praying. Because all the people that are trying to figure out, do they go, do they stay, do we go, should we stay now? I won't, I won't sing. <coughs> I'm distracting myself. Uh, <laughs> pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. It's a serious commitment. It's a serious covenant. I've read the covenant. It, it's, it's great. And it, it will, God is, God is on the move. But let's make sure we're praying for them. <coughs> um, Second, prayer. We are asking for a hundred people to commit to praying for both uh, the ministry Harvest View launching and the ministry here staying at River of Life. They, we need prayer. So outside on the um, countertop there, there's pages to sign up for you and your family. We need a hundred people. We need a hundred people committed. You're going to set your alarms. You're going to use your bookmark in whatever cool book you're reading uh, to remind yourself of what you're praying for. <coughs> How many people do we need? 100. Good. I, I looked at the list earlier. Most everybody's signing up as couples. That's, that, that's like 200 people, but, you know, I, I, whatever. Um, it, there's 100 slots. We need 100 slots filled. So get after it. Okay. So, so people are going to have questions. How do you get your questions answered? Email him. His email's right there. <laughs> I don't know how his email ended up, up there. <laughs> Poor guy. But anyway. <laughs> but he'll, he'll send the email to all the elders or whomever can uh, answer it. Or, uh, or just g- you know pick up the phone and uh, make a call if you have questions. All right. Thank you. All right, yeah, just finally, um, uh, we will be out there with our bookmarks and the sign-up sheet for that 100-person, uh, we're calling it a beachhead of prayer. Uh, yeah, let's bathe this bad, you know, this, this I was going to say bad boy. <laughs> Let, let's, let's bathe this thing in prayer. Um, and uh, let's be excited to do this together. We, we truly are in this together. Uh, there, there's a catchphrase running around in the alliance that, that says basically we're in this together. And, and that's something that we need to embrace right now in this time. Let's, let's do this thing together, guys. Let's be excited, uh, both for what River of Life is going to continue to do and for what uh, Harvest View is going to begin doing as, as Jesus launches us out. So, um, well, that's all we have for that update, guys. And uh, we're going to transition real quick. So, again, uh, see us in the lobby afterwards. If, you, if you're interested in joining the launch, let us know. Be there next Sunday, 6.30. Be in touch with me with other questions. You know, there's plenty of questions I'm sure you may have. uh, And grab a bookmark on your way out. Even if you're not going to commit to praying and sign your name down on the dotted line, uh, grab a bookmark and put it up on your fridge and and pray as you will, uh, even if you don't want to commit to being part of that 100, uh, the 100 club. So.